Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2. We're playing as the Carrot Cadron and this is episode 15. And let's waste no time, let's jump right in. So last time when we left off, we've been uh, sort of recuperating after taking Drakenhof. Uh, I'm going to try and be as quick as I can because there's still a little bit left to do. So let's build some growth buildings here. Uh, I need to upgrade for Oversteer. I'll build growth here as well. We really want to encourage growth as much as possible. We're upgrading Eshin and then I'll build a growth building in there as well because um, we really need to upgrade as quickly as possible so we can actually start doing stuff again. Um, Karakungor, you know what? I'm deleting this as well. I'm going to get rid of that and build the growth building in Karakungor as well because I just really want to get these build these places finished off so that we can actually speed things up because right now it's taking far too long. Uh, we're going to have a rebellion at Castle Templehof soon. Castle Dragonhof however is okay. Not really worried about dra uh, rebellions though because our armies are here to take care of anything that happens. So let's pass our turn. Definitely want to get the uh, quest battle done this episode. For that we'll have to build up Ungren's army. Uh, he'll be fighting chaos so we'll... Uh, Try and build something that's reasonably equipped to, to face that threat. I might turn the green screens off as a faction that I view their movement. It's taking extra time and I don't think it's necessary for us to see what they're up to. They're, they're so far away and not really a threat to us. In fact, you know what? I will do it. Well, I'll do it next time round. I am Iron Fist. Trade agreement. Perfect. I should actually check and see if there's any other trade agreements open to us. Trade is always good. Okay. Research for public order, that's nice. Rib Peaks is about to rebel. Mount Gunbad again, god, it's not having any luck, is it? It is getting there, slowly but surely. We need the population surplus of four, so we've still got a while before we'll get that. Let's just check if there's any confederation available. There's not, and any trade? No, no trade available that we don't already have. Good stuff, okay. Uh, up at Karak Ungor, I'm gonna build the growth building here. Castle Templehof, we'll upgrade the growth building here. Castle Drakenhof, there doesn't seem to be anything we can really do here. And two more turns and Ungrim's army will be fully built. Let's just check what we can build in case anything needs to take two turns to build. I think I'm going to build one more Grudge Thrower, but that's only going to take one turn. I'm not really interested in a cannon yet. I don't think there's anything that would benefit us from building a cannon. Um, and then I'll just be Longbeard. So all of that takes, I'll build three Longbeards and one, ca uh, one Grudge Thrower, all of which takes one turn. So... Uh, We'll do that next turn so as to keep our income as high as possible for as long as possible. Uh, I'll just check up here to speed that up. Eastern Sylvania. We could upgrade this. Ah, organ guns would be amazing though. You know what? I'm, I am going to build that. They won't help us out next turn, but it will help us out eventually. Something we'll definitely benefit from. Okay, that rebellion is going to happen. Nothing we can do about it. And Grimley is going to be in Wisemond in the next couple of turns. Oh, next turn, perfect. He might already be there. That, that looks like he's there. <laughs> that looks like he's there. I can't, can't quite tell, actually. <laughs> Maybe he's there. Maybe we'll see at the start of the next turn. Military, military alliance between Clan Angrind and Carrick Norn. Cool. Oh, there we go. I forgot to skip the orcs. Oh, they're not taking up that much time. Maybe it'd be better just in case they decide to do something crazy like send a 
regiment north to attack Mount Gunbad to be able to see them. I can't imagine them doing it anytime soon, but you know, the AI can be pretty unpredictable. And Hochland is at peace with Midland and Ostermark. And that's just even better for us, <laughs> the humans being at peace. Everything's going so well. There's no conflict in this movie. <laughs> Everything's just going... This is on Legendary very hard, I promise. It's just going so bloody well. Well, there we go. There's some war declared, although I can't see Gor Goromadni doing anything particularly dangerous there. Grudge issued at Mount Gunbad, that's fine. Hint Rebellion in Western Sylvania. He's probably just goblins again, I think we'll live. Right, have you made it to Wiseman's? Virgin Belts! There we go. And we've got another battle, this time against vampires, our ancient foe. Okay, so two quest battles to fight. Hopefully get at least one of them <coughs> today. In fact, we'll get one of them next turn. Let's give uh, melee defense for our... Actually, you know what? That's not going to help us right now, so let's go for Windmaker instead. Because none of these guys will benefit from it yet. Once we get to that level, it is a... a, a I must Once we have iron breakers and stuff that are of the uh, gold chevron level, then there'll definitely be a uh, talent that we'll want. My vows will be satisfied with this. Get ourselves a second grudge thrower, and we are really going to be ready to rock. Is everyone going to be on full I'm health after restless. this? Yeah, one more turn, and we're on full health. Let's just check and build anything. Northern's World's Edge. Yep, upgrade the growth there. 4,800. Two turns, that's probably going to be ready in three or four turns to upgrade to level four, so that's good news. And we're going to get a rebellion here, not that that really matters very much. And the vampire rebellion. Not too concerned with that, they shouldn't really be able to do anything much. Let's check on the vampire corruption here. It is falling, 2% per turn, so it is falling slowly. But uh, that's going to be having an effect on public order still. Here we go, let's turn them to fastest. That's better. I think we'll go for our uh, Axe of Dargo next. What brings you to Fight the, the Chaos Army first. Non-aggression pact, Boris? Certainly. Makes absolute sense. Part of me is wondering if Barak Var would want to confederate, but then the other half of me is wondering uh, if it's even w worth doing. I, I, I don't really think so, even if they wanted to. It is time. All major port owners have become discovered, have become known to each other. So cry off. Still, no one has taken Karak Jomar. Have they taken my. No, but I don't know why they're not taking these raised cities. Really strange to me. What do you guys think of us? Let's do military access. Get a little bit of money for it. Defensive alliance, sure. Nope, they don't want it. I would ally with them if they fancied it. They would confederate, but I, I mean, what's the point, really? It's not going to gain us anything. I would have been more convinced about doing it had they held the full province, but they don't even hold the full province here, which is kind of annoying. Although, it would have been good to do it 
before this turn so that we'd become known to the high elves and all of the people that we could have traded with so that that's kind of a blow actually so yeah i think i've made a mistake there overall but no matter such a thing is impossible is this auto resolvable so we can just get it done with yeah there we go 10 losses i think we'll live i'll get on it One Rebellion crushed, one Grudge settled, and we'll give him melee defense. Onward. Immortality for our Runesmith, and <laughs> Garim has had some serious brushes with death, so that's some good news for him. I'm sure he'll be happy about that, is as I am. <laughs> How many times has he nearly died in this campaign, only to somehow make it out alive? I don't even know. It's probably at least three, maybe more. Okay, uh, what are we going to do with Gim Grimly? Let's see if we've got any more quests first. I don't. I think the last one is to raid. Yep, and these two are done. So we'll just bring him back. He's probably going to go into uh, Grimly Brynbright's army. Put Grimly in Grimly's army. As for Ungrim, let's uh, fight this battle. Let's fight the quest battle for the Ax the Axidago. Yes. Nope, not for this. Actually, would this Lair Clan benefit us more? Public order plus five. Oh, it's only in a local province. And untainted, though. I actually think the Slayer Crown might be a better one to go for first. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Slayer Crown. Try and untaint Drakenhof so we can leave it quicker. That will allow us to move quicker. Uh, so let's go for that first, actually. Uh, yes, please. Wow, it thinks we're going to massacre them. Well, they're right. <laughs> well, they could at least like they could at least make it look like we're going to struggle, you know. I just had a mini heart attack. I have two screens on which I record, and I looked over, and as I clicked to go into the loading screen, it all went black. And then I looked over at my recording, and of course the screen's black because the game's black. <laughs> and I thought, oh crap! Something's wrong with the recording, and I've not been recording anything. Oh, I'll shut up for this. Slayers, I see before me the Zangunas and its filthy minions. Even now, the vampire stands there, chanting filthy Ungi spells, trying to summon some abomination. It is time to fulfill your oath made in Karak Kadrin. Slay everything that does not draw breath. And if some beast does get pulled back to life, then I relish meeting it in battle. Now we move. Charge for the honor of all Kadrin. Charge for your king. Charge for the Slayer Crown. Charge! Actually, uh, Rene, Rene that order. <laughs> Relay that order. Rene, really? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't charge. <laughs> that is the opposite of Dwarven Tactics. Hold this lovely hill that is so perfectly made for us. And let's rain down firepower on them until they come to us. That's that's the Dwarven way. <laughs> what is it they say in movies? I'm thinking of. Relay that. I think that's what they say. I have no idea. I can't remember. Everyone guard mode. Let's get uh, Ungrim, Garen front and center, Slayers at the back here, ready to defend the artillery in case of anything breaking round. Uh, and then let's spread our long beards out a bit. We'll send Ungrim a bit further forward once he's once the battle starts. Okay, looking good. Are we in range of them? Oh, easily in range of them, so let's make sure we fire straight away. We're gonna fire at skeleton warriors. Is there anything worth firing at? Probably just the skeleton warriors. Oh, Cairn Wraiths, definitely Cairn Wraiths. Okay, I'll actually get everyone firing at the Cairn Wraiths first of all. For the Slayer King. Yeah, get those Cairn Wraiths taken care of. Far too strong to live. 
I don't really have any magic that can deal with them, so. Really spread these troops out to make sure the flanks are covered. The grudge throwers haven't done a very good job on them, but the archers are making very short work of them. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> Here they come. Drop that rune on the Cairn Wraiths. Oh, he grabbed one of them, but not all of them. It's not good there. Yes. Okay, we grabbed them. Slayers, get on these wolves, please. Okay, the front flank is completely safe. The enemy lord approaches. Let's get uh, Ungram on him as soon as possible. You guys take these zombies out so we can then move forward on the... Uh, have them stop firing for now. I don't think there's any obvious targets. Slayers should annihilate these wolves. Uh, fire on there, that's perfect. There's no, there's nothing they can hurt there. Ungrim, take out Zacharias. Oh my god! They have some serious reinforcements coming, holy crap. Let's take out these guys. What's happening over here? Flanks are secure. In they come. Let's get our slayers on Lothar. I think the fell bats will be alright, to be honest. Killed one lord. Let's take out another one. Take these bats out for them, lads. I'll get rid of these bats. They're gonna keep interrupting us. They're really causing us a problem. Oh, good stuff. Those knights are gone. You know what? Ignore them. Fire on this guy. He's not doing very well, is he? It's going down at any second. Oh! Death throw is happening, though. <laughs> there he goes. And with both lords dead, it's surely not going to be long before they crumble. Let's get Garam over here. Surviving much better now. Ah, there they go. Disintegration. Victory's ours. Something's alive, though. We haven't got the victory yet. There it is. Awesome. Well, that was just as easy as it said it would be. So there we go. <laughs> 85 men lost. Uh, definitely acceptable losses. The Slayer is getting hit hardest, as they always do. No surprises there. Cool, and we have the Slayer Crown, this is perfect. Um, I'm actually happy to take a little bit of extra money. Because we should still replenish that in one turn, I think. Cool, that's our untainted plus five. Excellent. I wonder if we could do the other battle this turn as well. No, that would be yes. silly. Let's just get 100% and then do it next turn. It would make more, much more sense to do it that way. Uh, in the meantime, let's give our Lord of the Deeps... Ooh, Dragon Slayer. Oh, look at that. Melee attack plus 15 when fighting Chaos. 
perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Uh, I'll check our buildings. Eastern Sylvania can upgrade its walls. I don't even know if it's worth spending 10,000 gold on that, to be honest. Not with... We have nothing but allies around us, you know? What would be the point? Check our alliances. Everyone loves us. What? Friends with everybody. Do you want military access just to no, increase our relationship? Nope, that's fine. Do we have military access with you? We don't. I but... have brought a few battles of Buckmans with them. Affirmative. And Clan Angrens. Even Clan Angren are doing well. This is a ridiculously forces of good sided campaign. Like so so ridiculously that that way. Feeling quite, quite overpowered at this point in time. But I mean that's uh I mean, we made it so in some part by winning the battles we did, so there is that. Okay, let's pass our turn. And then we'll fight the chaos as well, I guess. Perhaps they'll present more of a challenge. I would love an organ gun for that battle, but uh, I don't really want to wait to do it either. I'll look again at what they have and perhaps uh, wait for an organ gun because I think Chaos tend to be heavily armored, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to have an organ gun for that fight. Although you never know with these quest battles, they're not like the normal battles obviously, they, uh, they can be all sorts of different ways. So we might not get a chance to use it, but still, I think I should be cautious and use an organ gun. Greetings. Let us speak. They're declaring war on me. Okay. Fair enough. Strength rank seventy. I mean, Holland. They always do this, right? Very interesting, though. And they only have one. They have one settlement. Is that right? I mean, what's the point in that? <laughs> Just getting themselves killed for no reason. I'll gladly wipe them out. That's no problem for me. Greetings, manlings. I can't say it was expected, though. He's at war with Wissenland. Nope, I'm afraid not. Part of me just thinks we should prey on our human neighbors as their easy prey. <laughs> but just because things are easy now doesn't mean they won't get a lot more difficult soon. So let's act as if they are going to get more difficult. Upgrade the growth building. 20 out of 20. So we're not even. I'm not even finished that, so I'm not going to wait. Let's see what this chaos army looks like again. Axidago, enemy forces. No, oh, it'll be okay. A hundred armor, you know what I mean? That's why I'm... That's a lot of armor. Not shielded, though. Ah, we will be fine. Let's do it. It's definitely going to be a tougher battle than the first one. It is time. Yes, and the uh, balance of power definitely displays that. Oh, they're triple chevron as well. Look at that. Yeah, this is going to be seriously tough. Let's not underestimate them here. Silver Chevron Cavalry as well. There. There across the way. The discordance for the axe of Jargo to sing again, for the runes to glow bright with power once more. We must destroy the foe before us, the chaos filth that dare cross our mountains. We do this in the name of Grimnir, 
for it will be a joy to spill the blood of Northmen. The enemy lord is a taint upon the world. Yet in fighting him, I shall make a thing of wondrous beauty, a perfect song of weaponcraft, in whose rhythm the acts of my ancestor shall find harmony and you. Slayers, I hear your howls of longing, desperate to be about this, to plunge your axes into the chaos scum before us. So, go, bring me victory. Bring me death. Okay. I can't see the enemy either, so this is definitely going to be a weird one. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's have our artillery right up the front. Long beards as well. I'm going to have two long beards guarding this flank. And two long beards guarding this flank once we reach it. We'll have both Garim and Ungrim are going to take up the center. And as always, the Slayers will protect the catapults. Okay. So yeah, just in case we get flanked, we're going to have two on either side, because I think three units of long beards plus Ungram and Garam will be able to hold the center quite effectively. So let's do it. These two up here. And I want you two covering the flank here. This is not ideal terrain at all. But we make do. about as good as it's going to get though if they don't reveal themselves soon I will just send Ungram forward by, his, by himself the Slayer's dead close to the catapults there they are fire oh good shooting Chaos Knight is taking a beating there losing 9 straight off the bat I would rather we fought, fired at the uh, Chaos Marauders though Easier targets. Let's fire on these guys and these guys. They're definitely looking to... <laughs> Heard the goblins there. And our archers are going to absolutely annihilate them. That's some interesting positioning. Don't even charge it. Don't even charge it. Just let the archers take them out. And yeah, they're moving to flank. AI is definitely designed to try and flank here, isn't it? <laughs> it's not gonna save them! Let's fire on these ones. Uh, Chaos Warriors. Those are Marauders, so don't fire on them. Waste of ammunition. Ah, too late. I fired on them a little bit. That's okay. Oh, their armor is ridiculous. That Rune of Wrath and Rune on the go. Those Marauders are going to get annihilated. Wow, they're sending a lot to the flanks. Okay, we really need to depend on these archers to do their job now. On these chariots here. Catapults, fire on this pile here. See, this is a bit, look at that. Just We just absolutely annihilated a bunch of long beards. Awful. If, this, if these guys break, we're in serious trouble. 
God, I was getting annihilated too. These guys are really suffering. There's nothing on the flank, so I'm bringing these long deers back down. Oh god. Proper Chaos Knights, are they serious? Get down here. I mean, you're already turning. Holy crap. That's crazy. Don't let them hit the catapults. See if you can hit them. This is not good. What's going on over here? I don't know if we're winning or not. Garam, get back here, dude. Help them out. Engage here. You take these Marauder Horsemen out. You take these Warriors out. Fire on these warriors with great weapons. Fire on these Marauder Horsemen. Our Lord is absolutely kicking ass. I'm hoping that these, uh, oh god. Not good. Alright, about face. About face. <laughs> Organ guns might have been a good idea. Alright, Garam, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Get out of there. I believe in you. Garam doing as usual. Almost nearly not really dying. <laughs> you know what? Engage these knights. I don't care who you are. You're not important. This is a fight to the death. Oh my god. Get in here. Actually, you know what? Try and help kill these guys first. Their lord is still alive here, I just noticed as well. Do we have any slayers left? Doesn't seem like it, does it? Stop them! Oh god. Run! <laughs> Oh my god! Quarrelers. In here. Yes. Try and get rid of him. Charge. Shoot those Wattocks! My god, this is crazy. Fight on, brothers! Severe height problems. <laughs> Men are routing all over the field and I don't blame them. They're... Ah, we've got them! Have we got them? I'm not sure. Let's pull these guys back. Get them back on the catapults. Have these guys engage. If you can get back on a catapult, that would be really good. Morale is definitely not great. These guys have a lot of ammo left. Come back, you. Oh, we've got them. Thank goodness. Oh, my lord. 
What a battle! <laughs> oh my gosh! That was a crazy battle. And I think uh, definitely organ guns next time. Not enough, not enough ammo, not enough armor piercing. But a victory is a victory. And the axe of Dargo is Ungrim's once again. But yeah, armor piercing was a serious issue there. As we knew it would be, but I, I thought, well, let's just do it anyway, but... Fine for the archers. Still got plenty of kills. No, no real casualties. But the longbeards really took the, paid a heavy price for that. And we'll uh, execute the captives because we need the replenishment, definitely. So the axe of Dargo is ours. And now, as if he wasn't already really strong before, Ungram is now an absolute boss. <laughs> With magic attacks, extra gold, extra damage, extra everything. Just honestly awesome. Let's give him Dragon Slayer. Just to finish that off. And show him back and cast Dragon Off. Try and get that casualty replenishment as much as possible. Well, I'm surprised this is only minus 2% now that we have the plus 5 untainted. I'm also surprised that I didn't switch automatically. <laughs> That's weird. Lord of Clan okay. Let's pass our turn there. And Hawkland are definitely on their way to fight us. Should have enough time to replenish before they reach us. I think um, <laughs> the uh, fight with the vampires was a lot easier. I think the Slayer Crime was a lot easier to get than, than the Axe of Dargo, that's for sure. That was a crazy fight by comparison. Hawkland definitely making no bones about what they want. They are coming for us, as we can see. But I'm not really that scared. Although we will have to defend the village of... I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's uh, the one that's next to Castle Templehof. Because it hasn't got any walls on it, so we'll have to reinforce it, and probably in the next couple of turns. We could use Grimly to harass them on their way down here, to be honest. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. And yet another siege at Mount Gunpad. <laughs> Those goblins just won't give up. It's not really mine, those sieges are pretty fun. Yeah, Fort Oversteer here will need to be defended. But okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this episode, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it, a bit longer than usual, but uh, I wanted to get both those quest items in the same episode. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next one.